this is my Zetter Bind It All, and I have been looking everywhere online for how to use the center, um, the center arrows. Now I have the book that it came with. It has really very limited instructions and has some mistakes. Um, you know, I've read a lot of stuff online and how people like this better than the circuit and, or the cricket, cricket, cinch, the cinch. And, um, you know, that this is the winner and blah, blah, but the instructions are horrible. And I have, but I have had really good luck in finding stuff on YouTube. Um, but just could not find how to do use the center and you're supposed to use the center arrows I don't know if you can see them um, I Don't want to mess with the camera since it's set up, but there are two arrows in the center of the six um, Where the 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 zetter will 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 cut to bind and the instructions say to use the arrows when you are using a piece that isn't um, in half inch increments. So I am sh I am making these uh, journals out of uh, all the places you will go at the Dr. Seuss book. Now the cover is I believe eleven. Got my ruler here, eleven and a quarter. Yeah, almost eleven and a quarter. And then my inside pages are um, a little less than 11. So it obviously not in half inch um, increments, which would be 11 or 11 and a half. Um, and I have punched in the past at, um, at 11, but I just do not like the way it comes out. So I've started looking for a way to make them much more even. Uh, my, my holes, the top and the bottom weren't lining up quite the way I wanted. So I thought, okay, well, what is this center thing and how can I make that work? <laughs> so um, I started by cutting out a couple of pieces of paper that would show, uh, represent my cover and my inside as far as sizing is concerned. And then I started punching. So I started out by finding the exact center of that page or of that piece of paper. And then I started um, trying to figure out from there and with the instructions to figure out how to, to punch. So this is what I found out. This is my cover template and this is my inside page template. Um, so what I found and again, the instructions, if you can piecemeal it together, you can do it, but it is not, is not easy. So you find the center of your paper and you, and you can tell I did one that isn't right because it came off the end. Um, and then I did it again on the other side of the paper and both ends, um, got punched correctly. So. You have to line up the exact center. So I've got my center line and it is lined up with my um, center arrows. And then you punch. And then you move your the side of your, your zetter to continuous. So it should be in B. And it says to always use the second to the last punch. So I'll just do um, a piece of paper. I'm just going to fold it in half. I have all sorts of scrap paper everywhere. Um, and this probably isn't going to be wide enough. I'm not going to be able to see my, um, my center when I put it in. Oh, maybe I can. Okay. Um, I have it just in A, just in open mode. I have my center lined up. I'm punching. And then you move it to B. Oops. Which isn't really always very easy. It says to always use, to line up 
the second to the last punch. So this is my second to the last punch and this going this direction, my second to the last punch going this direction is this one. And that is the hole that you use and you line up with on B, there is, I can't remember what they call this, a guide. Um, it kind of protrudes out a little. I don't know if you can really see it. Um, put a piece of paper there. Well, no, I don't think that's going to work. But it just kind of protrudes out. So your last punch will fit in there. So your paper will sit securely. So my second to the last punch should be sitting right on that on that little guide. So I have one, two, three, four. So that's the fifth. And the sixth one is inside the zetter, which you can't you can't see. And then you punch. And now, and I didn't push it down right. This is another problem. You have to make sure that you have your piece of paper pushed down properly. Or you get a nice little slanted edge, which isn't really um, helpful when you go to bind. But you'll see that I now have evenly spaced um, marks. Again, do the same. I just flipped it right over. So this was the back of the piece of paper. It doesn't really matter. Um, cause I'm just going to punch holes in it. I need the holes. So second to the last. So that punch or that hole is going to end up in my guide. I'm going to hold it down this time. Hold it right out here and make sure it's pushed down inside Oops. and punch. And it always helps if you put this little guide thing out. Um, there's another guide, uh, stabilizer. Or sometimes I forget to do, but you know, details. So now I have all these evenly spaced um, holes for my binding. And they should, look at that, they line up, yay! Uh, it's, you know, even the ones that are went at an angle, which obviously um, you don't want to do, but um, I, you can, cut or you can punch something that is, isn't in half inch increments. And that is really what, um, what this is all about. So I hope that that helps somebody, um, who is having the same problem <laughs> that I have been having. And so really what I do is then I just put my guide. This is my inside guide. These are some of my inside pages. which I know sounds weird, but I had to cut down this paper, so I'm gonna do, oh, this is my cut end. So I'm gonna put the cut end in my binding. That's where I want my binding to be. Make sure everything is lined up nice and straight. I have this just a little piece of washi tape to hold this down, because I just want it as my guide. Again, I've marked it. Like I marked out through all of these so I don't accidentally somehow use the top as my guide. But there's my bottom. I'm going to put it in here. Um, what else I also do, again, because I have this guide that is already punched. Once I have my paper in, I go ahead and move my um, little side over here to B so that I can catch that one that is punched. So I know exactly really where my paper is supposed to be. So again, I'm just gonna hold everything down and then make my And look, there. And I'll just move it over. So this is my second to the last. And I just push in. I don't know if you can see. Oops, I have extra paper sitting over there. Um, but I have one, two, three, four, and then it's oh, my paper is lined up, nice and even. And then touch. And then because my paper is so long, I have to do it again. 
So again, second to the last, always the second to the last. So I'm just going to really make two punches this time. Um, so I'm just going to line that up. I'm going to use my little thing over here. Make sure my paper is all in there. And I can even watch um, and see oops, exactly where it's going to punch. If I want to, you can... I don't have that much paper in that I wouldn't be able to see it, but oops, went ahead and punched and then pull it out. And there I have, I think my stitches or my stitches. Mm, no, that would be knitting and I am not knitting. Um, and I just turned the zetter around so that I can see better. Um, and I guess, I mean, it doesn't matter which way you punch it, but I want to be able to see my hole here. Um, and then hold down. Make sure it all in and down. And punch. And I'll do one more. Second to the last punch. Second to the last um, previously punched hole. That one, push it in, and punch it out. And there, I'll take my guide off, and there are my all of my punches. And I think that this will look, look so much better than um, my previous punches. It's not really lining up properly. But, so, um, I hope this helps somebody. And um, if you have a different way of doing it, you can leave a comment below. That would be awesome because I am always trying to learn something new, um, especially with this Zetter. Again, like I said, I haven't used it that much. I got it Tuesday morning, like three years ago. Super cheap. Um, so, uh, and then haven't started really using it until, I don't know, the last year, maybe, maybe a year and a half. I don't know. But, um, so yeah, happy punching. I, uh, like I said, I would love to hear what, um, what you have to say, if you have found a better way of doing it and yeah, great. Thanks. Oh.